In this video, we will discuss three atrial ventricular blocks, second degree heart block type 1, second degree heart block type 2, and third degree heart block. The full rhythm tutorial can be found at richacls.com. Here is the second degree heart block type 1, also called Mobitz type 1 or Winky Buck. The unique characteristic of this normally benign block is a progressive lengthening of the PR interval until an atrial impulse is not conducted through the AV node. The problem is with the tissue in the AV node and is usually transient. An analogous situation, although a bit of a stretch, might be an 8 to 5 Monday through Friday worker. The Monday, Monday the worker is fresh, Wednesday he's tired and can't do much work, Friday the worker is so tired he cannot do his job and has to go home, Monday he's fresh again and is able to do work. The analogy shows the AV node is diseased, it gets tired quickly and can't do its work and after a short period of rest it can pick up and conduct the impulses down again. Other than the AV node needing an occasional rest, the conduction process is normal. Here is second degree heart block type 2. In this rhythm, the PR interval is consistent, unlike the progressive lengthening PR interval with the type 1 heart block. Like type 1 heart block, there is an occasional beat not conducted, and the problem again lies with the AV node. But the possible complication with this block to complete heart block makes it a much more serious situation. Type 2 heart block is caused by damage to the AV node from disease or ischemia. Here is third degree heart block, also called complete heart block. The unique characteristic of this rhythm is the disassociation of atrial and ventricular conduction. There is no PR interval. The atrium is firing at a different rate than the ventricles. The atrial rate here is about 60 and the ventricular rate is about 30. The AV node is damaged and cannot conduct impulses from the atrium to the ventricles. Luckily, the ventricular Purkinje fibers have dormant pacemaker properties which come to life when not overridden by the faster sinus beats. In this unique situation, there are two pacemakers firing simultaneously, the sinus node and the ventricular Purkinje fibers. This situation is serious because if the ventricular Purkinje fibers do not pace as expected, then the heart goes into ventricular asystole, resulting in death. For more rhythm videos, type in rich ACLS on the search bar.